Good morning, good morning everyone and welcome to Morning Inspirations with Pastor Tim. This is the day that the Lord has made and I will rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah, hallelujah, thank you Jesus. This morning's inspiration is found in the book of Proverbs 4 verse 23. Keep your heart with all diligence for out of it springs the issues of life. The word heart occurs 862 times in the Bible. Your heart is the center of your entire being and the life force of your body. Although it is only the size of your fist and smaller than your brain, the heart is the strongest and utmost essential organ of your entire body. Jesus said to those who desire to be great among you must be servant to all. And the heart is the only organ in your body that serves every other component and minute cell of your body. Each beat of your heart pumps blood through the networks of arteries and veins. Blood delivers essential oxygen and nutrients to every cell. Arteries carry oxygen-rich blood from the heart throughout the body and takes away waste products and carbon monoxide. Veins carry oxygen-poor blood back to your heart and lungs and the cycle starts all over again. An average resting heart rate be between 60 to 100 times per minute. If you have an average resting heart rate of 76 beats per minute, this means that your heart will beat at least 4,560 times in one hour and 109,440 times per day. Out of your heart flows the emotions, your passions, your affections, and all your greatest desires. From the abundance of the heart, your mouth speaks. The heart is the most deceitful thing there is and desperately wicked. No one can really know how bad it is. You must, with all your vigilance, protect yourself from all the external circumstances, difficulties, distractions, and dangers trying to invade your heart to cause it to become callous, hardened, unloving, cold, and uncaring. Daily reading of the Bible, praying consistently, Sharing the gospel with others and spending time in quiet solitude with the Lord are ways to keep your heart loyal and committed to him. By this God will create in you a clean heart and renew a right spirit within you. Where your heart is that, that which is the treasure most, that which is closest to your heart, there your heart will be also. If you treasure the things of God, your heart will be in tune with the very heart of God. Thank you for joining me today, and I look forward to seeing you again on tomorrow. Have a blessed day.